thank you from the Diplomat College Center, Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Joseph Ford, God Holy Prophet Ambassador by the will of God. Transforming students into leaders, leaders and the agents of change. That's transforming students into leaders, leaders and the agents of change. Now we go to the message already in progress. I want to focus what I believe shall be the keys of the kingdom of heaven living on earth. Our focus session today is Power of Prayer and Fasting, Part 5. Power of Prayer and Fasting, Part 5. You cannot experience what you do not understand. Welcome to our online seminar. Been brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Power of prayer and fasting, part five. Prayer. Is universal. The Queen of England pray. The oldest institution in the world pray, which is supposed to be the family. Family pray in morning devotion and other private prayer. Companies, business houses, prayer and morning devotions. Congress prayer. The Senate prayer, Christianity, Christians pray, Islam pray, Judaism pray, Hinduism pray, many denominations pray. Prayer is everywhere, in every nation, among every tribe, people, language. But do these prayer be answered, and what? Do they pray? We will discover that as we go into this message. Power of Kingdom Prayer. Prayer is the most important thing on earth. Prayer is petition a king. It's a law, a command. Petition a king, a king of kings, Lord of lords. Prayer is praying in the spirit. We will discover prayer, life of Solomon. Wow. Solomon was the king of, he prayed, presidents, prime minister, judges, Congress, Senate, government officials, they pray in many of their events that participants may have in Thanksgiving time, in time of cabinet meetings, some government pray in cabinet meeting. So prayer is the key, the most important thing on earth. Wow, we will discover that. It is petitioning to a king, the king of kings and lord of lords. The Bible is a collection of God's idea. It is a legal document. 
It is the constitution of the kingdom of heaven. It is a legal document. So when you're approaching the Bible, you're not approaching a religious book. You're approaching a legal document. Wow. Now we go to the message already in progress. In the Constitution subsection, Second Chronicle 1, 6, Solomon went up to the bronze altar before the Lord. In the tent, in the tent of meeting, and offered 1,000 burnt offering unto him. Went and offered 1,000 burnt offering on it. That night, God appeared to Solomon and said to him, Ask what you shall, I will give you. Wow. To understand this teaching, you must experience, you cannot experience what you don't understand. If you don't have a relationship with God, and you don't have an experience of prayer, you will never experience prayer. You must have the knowledge and experience prayer. Now, Solomon was a king. He went up to bronze altar before the Lord. Every Lord is king. And every king is Lord. He went up to the meeting of tent and offer one thousand one thousand burnt offering. Wow. Now I will define to you what is burnt offering. Burnt offering symbolic symbol for sin and complete surrender, devotion and commitment to God, to the King of Kings. Complete surrender and devotion before the King. Solomon offered 1,000 burnt offering is bell a lot. They were mostly lightly male cattle, sheep, or goats. They were from Solomon's own flock with no defect among to the law of Leviticus as we rediscover that. Now, we offer 1,000 1, offering as well as it was a lot, most likely. It was sheep, it was goat from Solomon's own flock. For example, you present an animal, an offering to the Lord, you may take it from your own head or cattle, or flock, or goat. Now, it was a law, a Leviticus law, about offering, burnt offering to the Lord. We will discover what burnt offering is. The Lord called to Moses and spake to him from the tent of meeting. He said, Speak to Israel and say to them, when you anyone among you bring an offering to the Lord, bring it your offering 
as an animal from each the hairs of your flock. It is an offering. It is a burnt offering from the head of your male without defect. You must present it at the entrance to the tent of offering so that it will be according acceptable to the Lord. You are to lay your hands on the head of burnt offering and it will be acceptable on your on your behalf to make atonement for you. To make atonement for you. That is the way God accepts Israel, the children of Israel, as an atonement for them. Now, Solomon offered 1,000 burnt offering, a symbolic of Solomon's complete surrender to God. Devotion and commitment to God. This offering represents protection, perfection, and perfect life during the time when Christ was on earth. Christ offered himself as a sacrifice for the whole world, spotless, unblameless, without sin for the sins of all humanity, all mankind. Wow. As we continue, Solomon went up to the bronze altar before the Lord. In the tent of meeting, and offer 1,000 burnt offering on it. That night, God, Elohim, God of Israel, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God appeared to Solomon and said, Ask. The word ask means a petition, a prayer petition. Prayer it is on making requests and petition God. Business meeting with a king is a law. Prayer is a law. It was a law that they offer this burnt offering. It's a law. You don't go to God anywhere with anything and be not confirmed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I beseech you, therefore, brethren that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Lord. Now, Solomon surrender all before God. He offered 1,000 burnt offering, and the Lord appeared to Solomon and told him, Ax, Ax. And Solomon said, to God in one business meeting. When you pray, go in your closet, shut the door, pray to the Father, Abba, in secret, and the Father who sees in the secret will reward you openly. So Solomon prayed, asked his petition. Solomon said to God, you have shown great mercy to David, my father. And I have made, and you have made me king in his place. Now, O Lord God, let your promise to David, my father, be established. For you have made me a king or a people like the dust of the earth. In multitude. Wow. Now give me wisdom. What was Solomon's petition before God? What was his prayer? Give me wisdom and knowledge 
that I may go out and come in before this people. For who is able to govern this great people of yours? They are the kingdom of God. His people are his kingdom who is able to lead this great people like yours. God said to Solomon, Since this is in your heart, the king look at your heart. When you pray, you pray to God out of your heart, out of your spirit. Since it was in your heart, it was a desire. A desire is what you, uh, uh, what you, what you achieve, what you, what you, what you pursue, what, what you, what you, uh, desire, what you want, something that that you must have, what you long to have as yours. He longed to have God wisdom and understanding knowledge. Now give me wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before your people, such a great people. So God said to Solomon, since this was in your heart, and you have not, you have not, you have not asked your petition in prayer, not asked for wealth. You don't go to God and ask him for wealth. All these things to the pagan see. Food, clothes, what you shall eat, what you shall wear, where you shall live, what you shall drive. Do not go to God with that type of prayer. God told Solomon, you have not asked for wealth, nor possession, nor things, nor money, nor car, nor material things, nor house, nor boat, nor wife, nor children. You not asked for no material things or honor for the death of your enemy. Since you have not asked, petition me for long life, but for wisdom, knowledge, will I be grant you. Immediately, Solomon's prayer was heard. God grant him his heart desire. What are you going to ask God for? What are your desire? What is your desire? Solomon carry people uh, for to govern people, to help people, to be there for people. And I will give you wealth. I will give you wealth, possession, and honor, such as no king who wore before you, even none after you, you will have wealth. Wow. So Solomon petitioned God for wisdom. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask God. So Solomon petitioned God for wisdom, for knowledge, and for understanding. Prayer is a secret law. Prayer is a petition that we petition the king. He offered this offering for him, for him, and God requests now. He surrender. He surrender his life. He surrender in devotion and complete commitment to God. He was completely committed and surrender to God. And he said that you have been show mercy to my father David, and you keep your promise. God is a God always keep his promise. We spoke it, he will bring it to pass. God keep his promise to all mankind. Now we will rediscover the life, prayer life of Jesus Christ, the King. Jesus Christ, the King. John seventeen seventeen. 
sanctify them through the truth. Now, this corresponds with what Solomon said. Solomon was interested in God's people, leading them and governing them in truth. Govern them accordingly to wisdom. Govern them accordingly to God's idea. Jesus said, Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is true. As you sent me in the world, I've sent them in the world. For then I sanctify myself that they may be sanctified through thy truth. I pray. Now, this is how Jesus prayed. I pray. I pray. Not for them alone. I'm praying for all those who will believe in me through their message. I am an envoy sent from God. As a representative of Christ in the office of the prophetic, and also in the office of the ambassador of the kingdom of heaven, if you will believe the words that I speak to you, he prayed that. To believe the word that the true man of God speak to you in your life. I pray that for those who will believe the word, the message, that they all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I in you, may they also may be one so that the world might believe that thou hast sent me. I pray not for the world. But I pray for every believer. God prayed for you before you were born. God prayed for you. Before you were born, he prayed for you. Before you came out of your mother's womb. I have revealed you to those whom you have given me out of the world. They were yours. You are given them to me. And they have obeyed your word. And now, now, that everything that you have came from you. For I give them the word you give me, and they accept them. They know certainly that I've come from you, and they believe that you have sent me. And I pray for them. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Jesus Christ never ever pray for the world. But he prayed for those who shall believe on his word, his message, those who believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news of the kingdom of heaven. Solomon offer a burnt offering in prayer. And God answer his prayer. When you surrender all, when you make a great commitment to God, when you be honest and true and offer your life, God will have mercy upon you. If you seek His face, if you turn from your wicked ways, when you come before the King, the place you are standing is holy ground. Take off your shoe, for the place you are standing is holy ground. Now, how Paul pray? Paul said, Woman stand one, brethren, my heart desire and prayer to God for Israel that they may be saved. Are you praying? What are you praying for? Who are you submitting your life before? Never ever go before God for things. Do not worry what you shall eat, what you shall drink, what you shall wear, what you shall put on your body. Consider the ravens, consider the birds. They do not store up in barns. Yet your heavenly Father, who's the Father? The source, the sustainer, the provider. Take care of them, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything shall be added unto you. 
one of my secret of prayer I found that first when you go before God, you check out your own personal life. You surrender everything to God. You you give to God. You give your finance, you give your life, you give your goods, you give your possession, you give on to the Lord. And as you give on to the Lord, you, you can never outgive God. You give on to him for his name's sake. He will bless you for his name's sake. Blessed be the God of our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, who will bless us in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, we are blessed before you were born. You are blessed with all blessing in heavenly places. I pray not for the world, but I pray for those which shall believe on me through their word. Jesus Christ prayed for every believer. He prayed, he seek God's face, and he prayed for each believer. Thank you. O oh, righteous Father, I'm not praying for the world, but I pray for those who will believe on you. I pray that those who will believe on your word, and I pray as we seek your face, as we come to the Holy Father, we surrender all. We surrender our life, our heart. We surrender everything to you. And we offer up ourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you. This is your wisdom of the service. Help us not to be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Our Father, the God in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this our daily bread, and forgive us those, forgive us those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You can just raise your hand wherever you are and just offer yourself to God. Just offer yourself to God. Just pray the prayer. Offer yourself to God, and He is faithful and just to forgive you for your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. This is Joseph, God, Holy Prophet, Ambassador, by the will of God, Part 5 of Prayer and Fasting. May God bless you. May God bless the United States of America, most blessed nations of the earth.